Our guest on this episode is the co-founder of Urban Vision, a production company responsible for hit web TV series such as The Men's Club and Assistant Madams. He's also a health coach and a huge fasting advocate. Let's make welcome Akins Akin Kube. Hello. Hello. This is your Welcome voice, eh? Show. This is your voice. Uh, <laughs> I always hear that I have a, uh, I don't know whether it's a deep voice or a husky voice. Mm. Yeah. But very radio friendly. Mm. It's cool. Right. Okay. So, I mean, question, what is um, fasting? No, no, before we get into fasting, you know, we were having a conversation before we went sure. on break, and the conversation was around the cooking thing. Mm. Jay won't give his take on what Pastor Adeboye said and the whole social media noise. Sorry, I called it noise. But what do you think about um, a woman being expected to know how to cook by force? See, um, for me, it's a very, it's, um, it's a very multifaceted topic mm -hmm. in the sense that when I saw the when I saw the the tweet from um, from the, the pastor yeah. I knew it was going to open a whole can because, of worms yeah. mm -hmm. and I played devil advocate for him thinking okay what can be the context of this in this new modern era of me too I mean women are not going to take that very um, they're not gonna, it's not going to sit down well with them but see the issue is this Most African people were raised with defined roles. For genders. Your mother was in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Your father did little or no chores. Whether we like it or not, he read the newspaper. those people <laughs> are the products of that, of that vision. Mm. It's almost like how they say to you when you see a woman, you see a mother. However way you discount it, however way they separate in their ways, there is still a subconscious that has been built while they were growing up mm. that mirrors their mother mm. or father as the case may be. Yeah. So the man with time would expect that his woman would go into the kitchen, yeah. even as a cook will direct it. Mm. Let me give you an example that is personal to me. I was raised by a single mother. My father died when I was five. I've never expected a woman to make food for me. Mm. Because why? I never saw my mother do it for anybody. Mm. So, it was never my expectation that, okay, <laughs> when I come home, you my wife's going to have made food for me. But guess what? Being a man and knowing that the woman takes care of you somewhat, mm. with time you begin to almost expect or, okay, if nothing, just, there's a I'll cook, so there's probably. a maid, direct the affairs, or very yeah. once in a while, you know. I think the pastor is basically saying, it should just be a basic requirement. Mm. If you don't know how to cook, you, you will not eat, or you mm. keep eating out. It's mm -hmm. one of the two. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to settle and have defined roles, I'm, I'm putting them like for the pastor now, mm -hmm. thinking like he's not just saying, if you can't yeah, cook, yeah. Yeah, that's the end of the love, don't marry. No, I, so I basically, he doesn't know how to tweet well because what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, think. Not, there's more to that. There's, there's, more, there's more to it. So, and I understand, I understand the whole reactions. Mm -hmm. Really, in this new world now, I, I mean, you might be able to go to the kitchen yeah. and fix something up if you're really hungry. Yeah. Then, I mean, there's no, there's there's no tree, slave mentality. Tree, mm -hmm. And the thing so, yeah. about cooking is, I always say, obviously, you guys know I have a, I'm, I'm a health coach. Look, I'm like, there is nothing like cooked food at home because it has a vitamin. Mm. I would say it's called vitamin L. Love. It's, it's in the food. It tastes different. Mm. It's the reason why you still go and see your mother and be like, I want to eat that. It's not like mm. it's the best thing in the world. But there's, there is love in that, in, in, in that. So again, coming from the pastor's angle, I'm thinking that's, that's the thing that he meant. Yeah. Your, if your wife cannot cook for you, how? If she can't, if she doesn't know how to cook, mm. how will she express love sometimes? Okay. In, 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 in saying, not, okay, I made not, a meal for my husband. Let's not dwell just, all our conversation yeah. on cooking mm -hmm. because yeah, if yeah. we carry on, we won't yeah. be done. So if you were asking a question. Right? Yeah, um, when I saw the fasting advocate, I wanted to know what that means to you. Like, what does that really mean? Okay, let me, let, let me give you guys a brief. Um, I used to weigh 125 kg. Mm. And I currently weigh 75 kg. I've kept that off for a couple of years. 
and um, in my journey of discovering health. And mm-hmm. when I was 125 kg, I was sick. I had a fatty liver, mm. high blood pressure, I should be diabetic. I had sleep apnea, which is really dangerous. I could be in this interview now, this program, and I'll fall asleep. Mm. You literally see me fall asleep, and I couldn't control it. So in my journey, when I, when I changed my lifestyle, until I discovered that food was medicine, my life never really changed. Mm. When I discovered that, then I understood that even though I was having good medicine, I was overdosing on the good medicine. So when I discovered the miracle of fasting, my life changed. Mm. All of us, most people on planet Earth, are eating too much. Mm. Let, me, let, 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 me, let me give you something that will sink in your head. How many people die of starvation in the world? There are more people dying of eating too much. Yeah. Mm. And people starving. Look at the people dying in the war fronts. They survive on little rations. They don't die. Mm. Even those horrible pictures they show of the kids with bare bones, mm. they are alive. So is your fasting dry or is it No, like- it depends. We have, I mean, like I do this program called Fasting with Akins, where I coach a bunch of people on how to fast. And I mean, life changes in the, in the spirit. We have different cycles of fasting. There's a... Um, there's targeted fasting for certain hours. Mm. There are times where we're dry, there are times where we have a water only. Right. I think the longest we've done is five days of, that's 100, 120 hours of no food. This fasting, is a day for spiritual purposes or strictly for health purposes? I like that question, you see. Because the idea people have of fasting mm, is always fasting. spiritual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you see, that's because religion pushed fasting. Mm. Now science has caught up with religion knowing that fasting is actually beneficial for the body. So by virtue of you abstaining from food, you will connect to your higher self. Mm. You don't have to be, look, even the people that watch African magic, for instance, if they're going to do a sacrifice, they abstain from food. Why? Because there's something about food that lowers you from attaining your higher spiritual self. It, it lowers your vibration. So by virtue of staying away from food, you will connect to the spirit. However, whatever spirit you want to connect to is up to you. Yeah. So but, spiritual than religion. So regardless of what your aim is, if you center your focus, you would, you would achieve the, the spiritual. Just, just to go into your conversation, so people just don't think that you're a food coach. You have a lot of... Um, Layers about yeah. you. Um, yeah. You're also into um, Lysay TV making. Yeah, that's my, that's, my, I mean, that's, that's my day job. Right. Mm. That's my um, day job. And it's been crazy the reactions to it, especially you go to. I don't know. I know you work with Red TV, but is it that you do all the shows on Red TV, like Hot no. Topics, or just Assistant Madam and. No, we. we, we, we I mean, I don't even know if I should say we, we, we work for Red TV. It's such a brilliant marriage right. between, I mean, our company, Urban Vision. Urban Vision and Red TV. Obviously, we have two titles with Red TV now, Men's Club mm-hmm. and our sister, Madame. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's a joint collaborative effort right. with both of us. It's, it's, it's an amazing so family. So these productions are exclusively um, to, Red TV. to Red TV? Yeah, exclusively to Red okay. TV, yeah. Um, I just want to talk a little bit more Please, about the, t- the two shows. Um, I've watched every Please episode start on... Sisters, Madame. I'm sorry, <laughs> I watched all the episodes on Assistant Madame. Yeah. Um, I just gravitated more to the women first before I went to the um, boys club. Mm. Um, so I watched everything down to season episode five, mm. and I'm waiting for episode six. Now with the ki- boys men's club, I, and, and I'm the kind of, uh, let's say, um, content watcher that goes to the comments while the movie is going okay. on. And it's crazy down there. Yeah. And uh, there's a big comparison between Men's Club and Sister Madam. And it looks like Men's Club it has more favors and has more positive feedback. Now, do you think that it's because women are just more criticized? Or do you actually think Loki, um, as Sister Madam, just wasn't done as good as um, okay. Men's Club? Um, okay, let me, let, me, let me address that. Remember, though, first of all, we're approaching the third season of Men's Club. So... The eyes that we have on our sister madame now, mm. we do not have that in men's club sitting mm-hmm. mm. No. It grew into the monster that it is 
I wouldn't even lie to you, men's club is it's gone away from us. Yeah. We it's the the, the fan base is that is strong. So it takes some time to get content watchers to 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 get into the story. Right. Again, remember that we're showing this every week. Mm -hmm. Most people now binge watch their shows. Yeah. They are ready to watch a whole season and then eight episodes is just character building. That's yeah. me. So by the ninth, <laughs> by the ninth episode, they're like, that's why we had to watch eight episodes. Mm. But now we are showing it weekly where that's they just want to. They, mm. they don't want to. Uh, this story. So we we having to you know. In court, maybe speed up some stories. Right. I mean, we'll, it, will, it will catch up and then right. they'll understand why. Okay. This, so I understand the, and then the <laughs> eyes on Asita and Madame, our first episode is crazy because yeah, women and, uh, women normally are the ones that, I, I think they're, yeah. they're more, they, they, mm. they watch more television. Yeah, yeah, but there's also an opinion on yeah. regarding Assistant Madame. So some of the opinion that the first episode was a bang like mm. the writing everything the details. story details mm. but from two to wherever it is right now is like ah uh, the story is not tight enough like what's going on okay have um, you felt that way like i said yes we i mean obviously we don't we just don't create mm -hmm. we 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 absorb as well right. but you see the thing about when you create and absorb is you obviously know where the story is going so we understand am i surprised by um the divided opinions no that's normal. No, expected. But like I said, I think we'll drag them on our side in the next two episodes. They, when the okay. story evolves, they'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah. This guy's like, okay, I okay, mean, now yeah. I understand. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not your necessarily your job to focus on everybody liking it. If you look at no, the biggest so. um, series, um, Game of Thrones, it was the most divided. People hated it as much as they loved it. Yeah. So the main focus isn't really about them liking. It's yeah. really about the storyline. And I think I'm going to build on Elsie's question when she says, like, why that type of storyline? Both your shows are a bit controversial and scandalous sort of um, and I think the women's one even goes more like more deeper in terms of now doing this high class like escort thing going on and there's different facets to that there's the business side which Osas plays I'm not really good with the names I just know the yeah, name, like the actual, ahead, yeah. actual names yeah. the, the role that Osas plays is a lot more business and with the sure. mind and yeah. doesn't even actually sleep around and then there's Tamara obviously not her but the character who does more with the body and the pretty face and all. So there's different layers into that, but it's still about something that's super controversial. Why did you pick that Okay, you see, the, 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 thing, you see the thing, okay, the thing about our <laughs> yeah. shows mm -hmm. is, we don't, um, we literally sit down and mirror stories that we know. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example, Men's Club, simply us here having a drink with a couple of guys, me and my partner, Tola, we're just singing, and then one of the guys was just relating what happened to them in the day, mm -hmm. I'm like, this, this is a show. Yeah. And we went back and created it, got it right in, and then we had the show. Same thing with that system. And people watching, I'm like, okay, I know, I know, I know this Somebody girl. Somebody here. I know that girl. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, so our idea is to bring those stories to people to watch so okay. that they can. Because they I hear wish, about I it. I wish we had more see. time because I would have loved to differ when she said um, it's a story. Game of Thrones was fiction. This is more like, like you said, mirroring people's lives. So people mm -hmm. expect a level of accuracy.